I began practicing Qi Kung, which for people who uh, are not familiar with the term, is a type of Chinese yoga, which is generally practiced in a standing position and adds breathing exercises, uh, uh, meditational techniques, etc. In 1984, I also began, in the same period, studying the Yang style of Tai Chi Chuan. In 1996, or 90, between 1994 and 1996, I'd collected a series of books on these two um, um, practice methods. And I noticed that there was, in all these books, a recurring reference to a series of mathematical symbols and numbers. Principally, the number 108, um, the five elements, or a pentagonal structure, and, of course, the famous yin-yang symbol. I also noticed that although any number of schools apparently were teaching the same system, that the position which I'll be talking about and demonstrating on this DVD, which is called Shan Shuang, or stake or post standing, variously translated as uh, holding the uh, holding a barrel or embracing the tree, which involves standing in a static position with your arms raised in this kind of position. What I noticed was that there was no standard methodology to give everybody the possibility of practicing this particular position. There were many differences as to where the hands were held. Were they here? Were they here? Were they here? Were the elbows here? Uh, is, the, is, is the stance uh, practiced with the feet parallel, or are they maybe turned in or turned out? Is the stance very large? Some schools do this kind of thing, etc. etc. So, um, simultaneously with this investigation, I also noticed that this information. 108, the pentagonal structure, and consequently a pentagram, which is a five-pointed star, <coughs> excuse me, and the, uh, the yin-yang symbol, could be found not only in health practice, that is qigong, or in Chinese martial arts, but the, the, uh, the, sim the, the uh, symbology, the uh, mathematical symbolism, was present in architecture, uh, writing, um, uh, languages, etc, etc, etc. And it's always the same, all over the world. And this system is known as traditional, universal, perennial or canonical because it deals with a series of ratios and relationships, mathematical ratios and relationships, which are always the same for everybody, everywhere. So, having already noticed that when you stand in this Shan Shuang or holding the, the, embracing the tree or holding the barrel position, I noticed that the arms the chest, upper arms, and the forearms and the hands formed a pentagonal structure. As this pentagonal structure is used in the basis of Egyptian pyramids, or pyramids anywhere uh, in the world, Gothic cathedrals, uh, in fact, I'll give you the, um, the titles of some books later so that you can 
uh, investigate this for yourselves. Also, internet is invaluable. So, uh, instead of going into all the health benefits of practicing this and blood pressure and um, increasing the immune system, you can find all this information on internet and confirm what I'm saying. We now go back to the transposition of pentagonal geometry onto the physical body. If we take these terms, traditional, universal, perennial, canonical, at their face value, if this information is really and can be proved to be universal, it must mean and can only mean that anybody, irrespective of physical size, sex, age, conditioning, height, weight, etc., etc., must be able to practice this system. Otherwise, it's not universal and consequently not traditional and the canon of ratios and relationships is not respected. What I'm going to show you is a methodology of avoiding all personalized interpretation of how these arts should be practiced. And this is why this information is revolutionary. Having discovered this in 1996, I was quite surprised. In fact, I was so surprised that I didn't tell anybody where or how I discovered this information, nor how to put it into practice. It took me literally years to find the coordinates of alignments which I'm about to show you. If you practice this, you will find that anybody can apply the same coordinates, the same alignments to the body. Everybody. Because we are number five.